and welcome back to my channel. I don't normally say that, but it just keeps coming out. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I did a mini book haul, but I wanted to do it on my channel for everybody else. Not a huge book haul, obviously, because like I said, I don't really buy a lot of books. But I did kind of treat myself this past month because there are a lot of books I needed to read. And a lot of new books came out that I was really excited to read, so I thought it was okay just to get a couple books. But I ended up getting a little bit more than I had anticipated, but it's fine. I'm off of work for two weeks, which I'm sure many of you are as well. I just thought it'd be fun to show you the books that I am going to be reading and that I hauled, and I hope that I can get a lot of filming done in these two weeks and a lot of reading done. So, let's just get right into it. The first book that I'm hauling is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I fell in love with this fairy tale world that Holly Black created. It's so beautifully done, it's exciting, it's intriguing, it's dark, it's so interesting to me. I just love it. I did have some issues with it, but it was short, it was such a quick read, and it was beautifully executed, and I just like fell in love with these characters and the world, and I just really hope that Holly gives us more, which I'm sure she will, she seems like that type of author. In my first video for this year, I mentioned that I wanted to start reading Cassandra Clare's books, well, catching up on them, because I have obviously read The Mortal Instruments, I read The Infernal Devices, I read Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy, I have read Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows, but I was not caught up with Queen of Air and Darkness, and Chain of Gold just came out, which is part of the Last Hour series. Instead of rereading Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows, I really just wanted to watch Christine's book talk. I turned that on for Lord of Shadows, and I honestly had no idea what was going on. I was like, what's happening? Who is she talking about? I don't remember any of that. Like, it was just a mess. So my copies of all my Shadowhunter books are at home in Ohio. So I picked up the paperback version of Lady Midnight. I'm so happy I reread this because now I'm currently reading Lord of Shadows. I wanted to make sure I knew everything that was happening before I dove into Queen of Air and Darkness because these books are so important to me. They've been such a huge part of my life growing up. So I just wanted to make sure I was fully in it and knew what was happening and who everybody was. So that's why I got Lady Midnight. And then, of course, picked up the paperback version of Lord of Shadows. I'm like halfway through already. I plan on finishing this very soon so I can dive into Queen of Air and Darkness. So of course I had to haul these two, and I'm glad I did again because I just needed to catch up and remember who everybody was and what was going on. So along with those two books, I got Ghost of the Shadow Market. These are novellas that take place of course, in the Shadowhunter world. I love her novellas. They're honestly so good. They're just as good as her like full-length novels, and we have a lot more authors that help with them as well. And then another book that I got in the Shadowhunter universe is The Red Scrolls of Magic. This is like another mini-series that follows Magnus Bane and Alec Lightwood. <sighs> There's just so many books in the Shadowhunter world, and rereading Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows made me remember just how much the world means to me and how much time I've spent in there. It's just amazing. I just can't express it enough. The Mortal Instruments, The Infernal Devices. I love Cassandra Clare's writing and I highly recommend reading that series if you haven't because it's so good and honestly I kind of need to talk about what order to read them in so maybe I'll do that in another video because there are a lot of videos out there where they talk about it but in my opinion I have like my own way of reading them. I'm not really sure. Anyway, back to hauling books. The last book that I got in the Shadowhunter universe is Chain of Gold. This is the first book in the Last Hour series. We get a whole new set of characters in this, but also I'm sure a lot of our old favorites are going to be in here as well. It takes place in London, which is exciting because that's where like, Tessa and Will and Jem live, and it's just, oh, I'm so excited. I'm not sure what time it takes place in, but I know it's after the Infernal Devices. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, there's just like artwork in here that I just saw. And... I'm very excited. Oh, I forgot about the Bane Chronicles. I never mentioned those. I have read the Bane Chronicles, which are also in this world, of course. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited to read Chain of Gold. I think it'll be actually as magical as the rest of the series. And the last book that I'm hauling for you is not in the Shadowhunter universe, but it is Crescent City, which is the first book in the... So it's House of Earth and Blood. I'm actually kind of confused. So is it called... House of Earth and Blood in the series is like Crescent City number one, or is it House of Earth and Blood book one, Crescent City? I'm not really sure. But the artwork, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I've been following Sarah J. Mass's Pinterest page for this since like the beginning, and it's weird to actually have this book in my hands because I remember her talking about it over and over. It popped up on Goodreads and it didn't have a cover and all that stuff. So I'm excited to read this. It is her first, I think it's adult, it's adult high fantasy, and 
I know for a fact there's going to be a lot of romance. I've already seen a lot of tweets about it and people are like hating on her for the smut. But if Sarah likes writing romance and she's good at it, like just let her be. I hate that everyone's like ripping on her. It does kind of annoy me because I'm, I love romance in books, but sometimes it does kind of consume the book. But Sarah's writing is so great and the way she expresses her characters and their feelings, it's really important to everybody. And while there is romance, just skip over it if you don't like it. Like, I'm excited to read this book and I'm trying not to have anyone else's opinions deter me from wanting to read it. So yeah, I'm excited to dive into this. Hopefully I'll get to it in these next couple weeks. If not, then I still have a long time to read it. <laughs> but those are all the books that I hauled. I don't really haul books, so it was kind of a lot to haul at one time for me. If you're interested in learning more about the Mortal Instruments or the Infernal Devices or any books in the Shadowhunter universe, definitely like hit me up. I wish I had all the books here with me, but one day I will. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you want to keep following me on this booktube journey, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Gobble. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!